Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a short video on the mats that are now available for your Hummer H1 application. And uh, I've got a wife with me who's going to give us a short demonstration on how to install it. So as you can see here, uh, we're using our Project Hummer uh, as a demonstration. And uh, we've already got this all stripped out. We've got all the insulation out. Uh, as I had mentioned before, uh, this is a great opportunity to put additional insulation in here like a dynamat in conjunction with these mats to make the uh, noise reduction as much as possible. Just in a high level, these are a vinyl top with a closed cell foam, so they're completely waterproof. And as you can see that these are specially cut to OEM specifications to just drop in. Now, all these are cut with a laser, or I mean a water jet, so these are very precise, and um, we'll go ahead and start to demonstrate how it uh, goes in. I'm doing this because if I can do this, then that means anyone can do this. <laughs> it's foolproof, right? So the first thing that she's gonna do, is she's just gonna go ahead and fold it over into a third. I'm just going to place the mat in the center and then work way out. And as she's installing that, you can see that there's actually a cutout right here. So I'm right trying to match here. this up. So right all you got to do is match that cutout and then match the holes, which she's doing right now. So it looks like that's all aligned. Then as she works the front, it's just gonna pull it straight forward and up. And that is literally it for the passenger side. You can see bolt holes all lined up for your seat bases. They're cut out over here for your drainage. And that's the passenger side. So let's go ahead and go over to the driver's side. Again, you're just going to fold it into thirds. I'm doing or quarters. <laughs> Same process gonna make sure to get the back set up right and then she can go ahead and uh, bring the forward or bring the mat forward so everything's lined up in the back here oh, sorry. Go. so you see it's all tight in there all the bolt holes line up and then, this one. and then right here again just gonna put the cut out there As you can see, bolt holes all line up. Everything looks good there. And then the one thing that it's a little bit dark here, uh, this will actually tuck underneath your fuse box. Uh, so just make sure that you can see that these are nicely formed or around everything. Even goes under the lower chainer right here, up to where the pedal is. So again, a great time to go ahead and put some insulation in there. And Seat's ready for there you go. So pretty simple, uh, not really much to it. So make sure you visit anvilmotorworks.com. There you go. Thanks everybody. Bye.